Usually, when I watch old Laserdisc movies, VHS, Beta, etc., old physical formats, I watch them on my Sony Trinitron CRT TV from 1991. This is my preferred way, and that gives me all the nostalgia, magic, scan lines, etc., that I really like. However, in another room I have my 4K Dolby Atmos projector set up, and with more people over, family or friends, this is where we'll watch the movies together. But since we also want to watch those old formats from this room, well, I needed a scaler that could take a lot of different inputs, and the RetroTink 4K to the rescue. So I can run Super VHS in, Composite in, Component in, and even optically my digital audio like Dolby Digital and DTS. And it'll all come out the HDMI port, which I send to my receiver and then to my projector. And so with the hopes of getting authentic looking artificial scan lines, state of the art scaling, crop in features that I can use on my letterboxed Laserdisc editions, all projected on my big screen, I bought a RetroTink 4K. So let's load up a disc and see how it looks. And this is the default picture straight out of the RetroTINK, no adjustments. This is Stargate from 1994, a 95 Laserdisc release. It's been letterboxed. And let's first go into the advanced settings and adjust the cropping so I can fill out the entire screen. And as in most menus and submenus in the RetroTINK 4K, there is a lot of different things you can change out to make the adjustments you want. Anytime you have a setting you're satisfied with, you can save that as a profile, which you can load up later. Well, we've sorted out the letterboxing and aspect ratio. Let's load up The Mummy from 1999, a very nice Laserdisc release in terms of picture quality and transfer. And I've also adjusted the brightness and contrast here and added some more saturation to the colors. And now I want to add some scan lines to mimic that old CRT a TV experience when watching these movies and uh, the RetroTINK 4K has a lot of options for that too. Let's see how it goes. I have to say that the picture coming out of the RetroTINK 4K and being scaled up is uh, looking pretty good. You're watching this on YouTube with uh, YouTube compression etc for, for images. I'm watching this in real life and the image quality is not half bad I have to say. Let's go into the menus and see what options we have for adding some scan lines. There's different types of scan lines. You can uh, adjust the strength, the modulation, bleed, etc. So you have a lot of different ways of adding those scan lines that you want, but it all boils down to finding settings that you just feel gives you that magic from watching a CRT TV, if, um, if that's possible at all. To me, on my setup, this will vary from setup to setup, I've definitely found some settings that I think gives me that sort of CRT feeling and a bit of magic or mojo that I like. On my Laserdisc player, I have the option of running either a Super VHS out or a Composite out. And the RetroTINK 4K has both inputs, of course, so let's swap between the inputs and see which of them you uh, like the most. Please say so in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you think. I'm not running the composite in on the RetroTINK 4K. I'm running the composite in on the back through the component CVBS on green as it's cold, but it's nonetheless a composite in. Maybe there is no difference. Maybe it's just my old weary eyes playing tricks on me. Again, let me know in the comment section if you have any strong opinions on the matter. Either way, I think this picture is uh, quite acceptable for coming out of a Laserdisc and being scaled up for uh, today's standards. At least, it's good enough for me. Here is the Sleeping Beauty in a nice 1997 letterboxed Laserdisc release. I put in some scan lines here as well. Looks nice. And here is Legend from 1985. This is not a very good uh, lace disc release in terms of uh, transfer. I'm using the same settings as in the previous clip. And since this is not a letterboxed edition, the aspect here is not quite right. And uh, again, the transfer is not all that great either, but the movie is so good. So it's, uh, it's awesome no matter actually. Here's a little bit from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. 
the 1987 Japanese Laserdisc release, which was the first time you could watch the Star Wars trilogy uh, in a letterboxed widescreen edition on Laserdisc, on any format actually. At home, I might add. Notice how the image is lighted upwards to leave room for the Japanese subtitles below the picture coming in at any moment. I've added a few scan lines here to uh, enhance the CRT emulated experience. And for the fun of it, let's run some beta videotape through the RetroTINK 4K. This is my Sony Betamax stereo hi-fi recorder from the mid-80s, a very high-end consumer model from that time. And this is a PAL version of the movie. So let's load that up and see how we can... Um, yeah, let's see how it looks through the RetroTINK 4K. Let's hope the player doesn't eat up the, um, the tape itself. But this is a hi-fi stereo uh, tape release with Commando on it, so it should play all right in, in stereo. Not uncommon for the tape to be somewhat um, in bad shape at the beginning. With the movies, you remember that. You also had to adjust the tracking, etc., to get a stable picture. And now, more previews from the CBS Fox Video Collection. I have to say, I've played around with this a little bit, and I find it hard to get scan lines on here that looks convincing. So, um, more often than not, uh, during the few days I've had with the RetroTINK 4K here, I've turned scan lines off when watching VHS or beta through the RetroTINK 4K. Not sure why that is, but um, I didn't find the experience all that too pleasing. But again, uh, please add uh, comments in the comment section if you have any tips or tricks for getting scan lines to look better in this um, cropped pan and scan version of the movie. Regardless of scan lines, etc., this movie is so enjoyable. Easily one of my favorite guilty pleasures from the mid 80s in terms of um, violent action. Do it. Do it now. I hope you like this little demonstration on the RetroThink 4K with LaserDiscs, beta, and old home video formats. I'm Espencroft. You're watching 5 Minutes of Retro. I'll see you next time. Cheers.